What is up guys, this is Burst here, and this is my first Battlefield 3 commentary on this channel. First I'd like to say sorry for the mic quality, Quality, you hear a lot of popping in it, that's basically because I'm using a rock band mic. I'm trying to use my phone, but I need to recover my email, and it's, everything's attached to it, so I don't want to make a new one in general. And so, like I was saying, this is a Battlefield gameplay, this is my favorite map to play Conquest on. If you get a good server going, which this is my server, and I should have balanced it, but I don't know what I was thinking. It's always a good fight for B, and it can go both ways, you know, fight back and forth, fight back and forth until the game's over. I remember joining to my server one night, and we were getting spawn trapped, and my whole squad came in, we pushed them out, we took B, we put them back in their spawn, and they switched it back on us. And it this map's pretty line linear, but, you know, they have those two side streets that really, you need to use those to control this map in general, because those good teams will flank around you and uh, try spawn trapping you. In this game, it was pretty slow at first. I meant pretty fast at first, then it slowed down when our team got on lockdown. I, and like I said, I should have switched them, but I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I tried not spawn trapping, but I kind of got in there because I was I wanted to keep my flawless streak going and get more kills. But I got two deaths, uh, pretty bad two deaths in general. But uh, this commentary really basically was is about Black Ops 2, which is ironic that I'm using Battlefield 3 gameplay for this. But uh, the new trailer came out uh, the other day, and I was watching it, and since I played Call of Duty since COD 4, uh, considered an OG, if you think about it, uh, one of those people that played from the beginning, from COD 4, I actually even played the uh, COD 1, COD 2, the big red one, and COD 3, all on the PlayStation 2, and then uh, COD 3 on the PlayStation, but never online, and... You know, I was skeptical at first about this new game coming out. I really did not like Black Ops. The hit detection was, uh, it was terrible. You know, I went back on it yesterday just to get in the rhythm again. Uh, GB maybe coming up soon. And the hit detection is just so god-awful. I mean, I would shoot somebody and they'd kill me. <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're saying that the new game will be based on um, MLG preferences, as in, like, the lag issues and crap. So hopefully the hit detection is spot on. Uh, you know, we won't know till the game actually comes out because when they play on the trailer, they're in the same room basically or in the same building. So you really don't get the full feel for it. But anyway, that trailer was amazing. Like I said, I was really skeptical at first. I didn't think it would be good at all. I was thinking this is just another Call of Duty game. You know, I pre-ordered it just in case. And, you know, that trailer blew me away from the graphics to the surroundings of the maps, to the perk layouts, to, I mean, everything. Uh, the graphics don't look like a Call of Duty standard, and it, they are using the same engine, which is terrible, but the graphics look like they, you know, they uh, they did something to the engine to, to improve these and make it more standard to, you know, the consoles these days. Because, I mean, that's, that's an engine back from 06 when the uh, PlayStation 3 and Xbox just came out. I mean, there's no excuse to make a new one, but they decided to keep it, but they rehanced it. I think they rebuilt it, I believe, what I was looking at online, but they did a really good job. Uh, I'm very impressed with an, um, Treyarch in general. Uh, I like Treyarch from World at War. You know, they do stand by their game more than Affinity Word. Uh, Affinity Word, overall, they, you know, they, they kind of made a great COD 4 game, and MW2 was great, except for some of the flaws, but... When they made MW3, I thought Call of Duty, Call of Duty I keep stuttering, <laughs> is completely done. But, uh, you know, they might keep it going from what Treyarch has done today. Uh, well, with their game for those two years they've been making it. They, uh, they really did something that impressed me very much. Uh, and I think the whole community will enjoy this game. Uh, like I said, it is too early to tell from just the trailer. I mean, of course, they're going to make the trailer look better what the game's actually going to be, but for graphic-wise, from the game just, you know, being released now for the trailer, and the, they have still have a good, what is it, three months in production, you know, it's it's there, it's really there, and hopefully they do address the lag issues. Now, when it comes to quick scoping, this has been in, I know, some people's heads, whether or not Treyarch, because Treyarch does not like quick scopers, uh, they have, you know, a team that likes it and a team that doesn't. Now, what they were thinking of, I believe, on Twitter, Vanderhart was saying that, you know, uh, you know how the PC does not have aim assist? Well, 
they might be taking aim assist off on snipers for the first couple seconds that you aim in, which will make it so that, you know, quick scoping will be more of a skill based type of thing. Instead of uh, you know, point your scope will zoom into the person without even aiming really and you get a kill. Now, I do like this, uh as a sniper person background, I do enjoy sniping a lot. Uh MW three I did not snipe really at all. I did not enjoy it. But, you know, COD four I would snipe, World at War I would snipe uh, MW2, I would. I was a major, major sniper. I mean, that game took absolutely no skill to snipe. A freaking eight-year-old would be able to quick scope when just just starting the game in general. But it was fun for me, at least, except for those fucking trick shotters. Oh, God, I hated that. But they address sniping in a way where I think it will be more balanced in an issue where, from a quick sco quick scoper standpoint to a non quick quick scoper standpoint, it would be more balanced. Sniping will take more skill, hopefully. Um, I think they should take out aim assist in general for sniping. Uh, that's just me, and that's coming from a sniper type of person. Aim assist should be off. Uh, it's just not really necessary, really, because mainly the people that do snipe are those people that are quick scopers. You know, sadly to say, but the maps really aren't built for sitting in a spot and sniping. Not like Battlefield, where you know they they uh, have those big open maps that. Snipers can thrive on, you know, Call of Duty is these small little, little intense type of games, and, you know, that's what makes that game original from, you know, I love Battlefield, this is one of my favorite first person shooters, I like the, uh, the realism when it comes to the gameplay, the guns, you know, how the guns act, how the maps are played, the vehicles, but COD, you know, has that separate feel of, feel of fast paced, and, you know, just regular sniping really does not fit into that in that cause. So, I mean, that's why s quick scopers thrive. Because in you know, small maps, let's uh, let's challenge ourselves here. And uh, just zoom in quickly and shoot. And I see why people do it. Because I do it. But I, I don't trick shot. <laughs> I just snipe. And, you know, there's a point where you need to let off. That's what really ruins, you know games is when people ruin that stuff and i think shark's gonna address this in a way where they're gonna make a happy medium uh from black ops you know they did fix a lot of the guns which i was impressed with but not impressed because of the uh gb standpoint where i always had to use a different gun because every other every other month would be like oh new patch this gun where this gun makes it terrible like the uh, famas uh so hopefully they they make the guns as balanced as i can at the beginning so they don't have to go through all this uh, change in the guns and worry about the lag issues. Uh, I do wish, though, um, Activision would just stop being money whores and just put in dedicated servers just like, you know, any other good first-person shooter. Battlefield 3, I have absolutely no lag issues. Why? Dedicated servers. You know, they could be losing some money here, but if you think about it, COD breaks the uh, standard for... Uh, not the standard, the um, record every year for games sold. Now, all they have to do is put a little team together to maintain the dedicated servers, like Battlefield has, um, Halo, Gears of War, all those great first-person shooters. You know, they have a team going to keep the servers updated, and they're not losing money. You know, do you see 343 Industries that make this game? You know, I don't know. What, pu bump, what publishes that game? I know Microsoft has a point of it, but I don't remember who else uh, helps publish that game. But you don't see them losing money over dedicated servers or DICE or um, EA really losing money. You know, they're, they're still gaining money. Yeah, EA did put in the thing where you can have your own servers, which I love because, I mean, that's what I did, my own server. But, you know, that's Activision being money whores. Anyway, this commentary is coming to an end now. I went 18-2, and two, I believe. Not the greatest score for how long this game was. It was good, like, 13 minutes, and I cut a lot of it out. But at first, it was pretty fast-paced, and at the end, it started getting a little hectic where they took B back. But enjoy the rest of the game. I do not know where the sound is uh, for the gameplay, for the shooting. Uh, I did get my other optical link cable, so I can't record sound now. Anyway, take care, everybody. Um... Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Why'd you hate it? If you hate it, that's fine. I mean, we're all human. We're not perfect. <laughs> Just tell me what you think. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.